Hello and welcome to the next episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and I'm back. I have been taking a break for the last few months, but I'm back and I'm excited to get back to work. You may recall that when we left off with the last episode, I introduced my next rebuild project, which was this 2004 Mercedes E320 Formatic that has a little bit of rear end damage and it also has a little bit of a steering problem because uh, both of the inner tie rods have been broken. So the steering wheel just does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Not very helpful. Uh, so that was a lot of fun getting it back here into the shop. I'll show you a little bit of that here uh, as we talk. But anyway, I am back and I am ready to get working on this car. I'm excited to get this car back on the road uh, because I've got a lot of other things to get into as well. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the episode. For now, I'm going to get started on trying to repair those inner tie rods so that this car can be drivable. Let's get started. All right, before I get started, let me show you what we're working with here. I went ahead and took the wheels off already. And uh, well, you can see right there, there's the problem. The inner tie rods have been snapped off. So I've actually got new inner and outer tie rods. I don't know if, uh, if these have been tweaked at all. So I went ahead and got both. And uh, so I'll be popping those off and trying to get that off. That's gonna be the fun one back there. Um, but uh, go ahead and get all that replaced. Got to do the same thing on both sides because somehow or other, um, it managed to break both of them. So uh, that's what I'm going to get started on. I'm going to go ahead and set up a camera so you can watch and then we'll get right into it. All right, I'm gonna interrupt here real quick because I realized after I finished recording that I never recorded uh, anything here to explain what I was doing. So it was really easy to take off that nut that holds uh, the outer tie rod uh, to the knuckle, but that's when things got kind of obnoxious from here. I spent a lot of time trying a lot of different methods to get that uh, outer tie rod to let loose from the knuckle and it just was not having any part of it. it took me quite a while and uh, ultimately, I ended up using a pickle fork to get it off uh, that I borrowed from a buddy. Um, having the right tool for the job definitely makes a difference. And even with that right tool, it took an awful lot of wailing on that thing to finally get it off. It's probably original to the car, and uh, it just was stuck on there pretty good. Now, the passenger side came off really easily, um, but uh, this driver's side that you see me here working on uh, did not. So... I'll go ahead and put little descriptions of what I'm doing along the way, uh, but that is what's going on. I'm spending quite a lot of time trying to get that outer tie rod off, and then the inner tie rod ended up not being quite as big a deal. All right, back to the video.
right, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Got both the inner and outer tie rod ends replaced on both sides, and the steering is now working. You have no idea how weird it feels to try to, to get the car uh, moved under its own power, but you have no steering. The, the steering wheel is just completely floppy. Uh, that was just a really weird feeling, but steering works now. Everything is tightened back down, torque to spec, and so that means that the steering is ready to go. Now, I did find one little problem in the front, unfortunately, and there's always something else. Probably whatever broke the steering uh, tie rods there probably did this as well but there's two mounts on the front that hold the, I think it's a sway bar, and they're both broken. So, sway bar itself looks to be fine, but I do need to find two more mounts uh, there in the, for the front uh, to support the sway bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on the internet and get those ordered here pretty soon. By the way, I'm getting all of my new replacement suspension parts from FCP Euro. Uh, that's where I like to get my parts from for the most part, and uh, that's where these came from, and that's where I will look for those two mounts for the sway bar. In the next video, I'll go ahead and hopefully get that fixed, and then we'll start working on the back end and get the, uh, the bumper crash bar put in there and then try to start fitting up the replacement bumper I got. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. I know we were discussing whether or not I should get, uh, get a replacement or try to fix my old one. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in the next video, uh, but that is the plan for the next one. Get that front sway bar fixed and get the bumper on the back. And the car is almost done at that point other than some cleanup. Uh, beyond that, stay tuned. I've got some more things coming up as well. For those of you who enjoy uh, the BMW maintenance videos, I have more of those coming. Uh, transmission work is next on that car. It's still working, but it needs some maintenance. Uh, then I also have that little BMW, the, the 98 328i convertible. Need to do some work on that so I can get it sold. And then I might just have another project that I'm very excited about. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, click the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I've got a lot coming here in the very near future. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.